is the job. I think that's the job. And I mean, reality TV has become what it has become today. It is scripted situational reality. And uh, here we are. There's nothing we're going to do about this. We're never going to get that underbelly. And that's why the bloggers and the Instagram accounts, and that's why there is this whole culture. Oh, they wish there wasn't. Could you imagine if this were like the 90s? We would just all be watching and there'd be no internet and none of this. And just so, but she literally said that's nobody's fucking business. I think it is actually all of our businesses. I think that is the job description personally. And we are never going to know. I mean, basically tell us he cheated without telling us he cheated. I mean, come on. What else is it? What else is it? I mean, that is what it is, right? He wasn't there for you emotionally when your friend passed and blah, 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 but broke the trust. This is what it is. None of your fucking business. I don't take that answer very lightly. I think it is actually our business. I really do. I really, really do. <laughs> then Kathy starts trying to add support and saying, you know, you seem different for three years. Kyle is like, here we go again, Kathy. You're trying to help. She's trying to help. Um, Kyle also just did an interview recently where she said she understands when Kathy was in the dressing room that she was trying to help, you know, the situation, even though she didn't. Um, so Kyle shuts that right down. We're never going to know, guys. We're never going to hear her admit it. It's never going to happen. We just got to move on. We just got to move on. And I'm less interested in that. They talk about divorce. Like, I mean, you're going to get a divorce. Okay. Let's just, he's looking for a place to live. I mean, can I just back up for a minute? We have a whole show called Buying Beverly Hills. I assume that will be a storyline. Mauricio going and looking at his own properties of where he should live. I mean, yeah, yeah. You're one of the top real estate brokers in the Los Angeles area. You own the agency. You can't find a fucking place to live. He's looking for a place to live. I mean, I assume Mauricio can find a place to live in under a minute, right? Represent yourself, get a percentage back. Do you know that I'm a broker in New York? If you're a lawyer, you're a broker. So when I just purchased my new apartment in New York, guess what? I represented myself and got my own commission. That's how it works. So Mauricio, that's, I mean, that is actually how it works. Hi, I'm a broker. I'm representing myself. I'm going to buy this apartment. You're going to give me my commission. Um, It's not about me, is it? Who cares? Shut up, David. No one fucking cares. Um, then we get into the Morgan Wade of it all. I mean, I find this more interesting. So Kyle Mauricio, you're going to get divorced. I'm sorry to say. Blah, blah, the money, the money. It doesn't matter. It's just, you're going to get divorced. He's going to move out. It's over. I, I don't even know what else there is to say. There's all these headlines. Like Mauricio is overheard at Kimosabi and Aspen, and he's able to do what he wants. And no shit. There's nothing more to this story. It's over. Mauricio can fuck anyone he wants and Kyle Richards is not going to fuck anyone because she is madly in love. Okay. But regardless, before we get into that, it's over. So I don't know why this stuff even makes headlines. It's over. There's no more Mauricio and Kyle. There never will be. It is over. It is dead. I don't know about Dorit and PK. They have chance. They have a chance. They have a good chance, but this one is over. It is time to call it. Should not be headlines anymore. He's going to move out. There you go. Period. Go on to Beverly Hills, buying Beverly Hills, and Kyle will be on the show without him. Or well, we'll see him next season moving out. Now we get into Morgan Wade. And Kyle just talks about, you know, she wasn't, she, again, she's saying this, doubling down the media scrutiny media scrutiny she wasn't ready for this and i agree with our girl sarah frazier she says it on the show all the time here 
You're going to Craig's. You're going to Chateau Marmont. They are going to places, guys. Giorgio Baldi. Give me a break. For anyone who knows LA, they are going to places where paparazzi are waiting. Not just for her. They're waiting for Brad Pitt and Julia Roberts and, and whoever the fuck else lives here. Sutton Strack and Kathy Hilton and Kim Kardashian. So give me a break that Morgan is so overwhelmed because you would be in the fucking valley with sunglasses on behind Jax's fucking studio city. Jax's studio city is where you would be behind there if you didn't want to be photographed. Give me a fucking break. Give me a break. Okay. <sighs> I love how Andy's like, well, you did make her a household name. Yeah, you did. You did. We get into, does anyone think they're together? Crystal. Crystal's doing well. Why does no one like Crystal? Why do you guys come down on Crystal? She says, yes, people are afraid of Kathy. And yes, I thought so. I mean, we all thought so. Everyone's so shocked. I mean, look at these pictures. Dorit says it looked like you were girlfriends. They talk about the music video. They apparently they filmed it before the split rumor came up. Blah, blah, blah. Andy says, is there anything going on? I mean, if someone asked you if anything was going on, like if you were straight, man, women, and someone's like, is anything going on? You'd be like, what? Like, what the hell are you? That's like the craziest thing. You want to ask me if anything is going on with me and Rachel Yucatel? I mean, that's insane. I would be like, what? Kyle's just like, no. So you guys are not a couple. No. Do you have feelings for her? Well, I love her as a friend. Could you see yourself with her down the road? She says, I don't know. You do know. I really feel we are truly, truly. I mean, Kyle even said, you know, I'm going through an evolution. I just think we are watching Kyle Richards come out before our very eyes. That is truly from the bottom of my heart how I feel. I really feel that. If we just, on a granular level, big picture, let's not get lost in the weeds. I think this is a momentous moment in Kyle's life that we are all witnessing I think she is totally smitten with Morgan. And this is it. This is it. I think she's in love. I think she's really, really head over heels in love. When Andy says, maybe we'll see her next season on this couch. And Kyle's like, maybe. I, mean, I think we will, you guys. And Morgan, Morgan's coming to Beverly Hills. Morgan's coming to Beverly Hills. I think next season is going to just be less about Mauricio and Kyle and more about Morgan and Kyle. I really do. This is over. There's nothing left to that. There's no more blood from the stone of Kyle and Mauricio. I really, really think next season when Andy jokes, no, I think we're going to see Morgan Wade on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I think we're going to see her as Kyle's significant other. I think Kyle Richards is madly, passionately, head over heels, in love. In love. In love. I mean, again, could I ever see myself in a million years having sex with Rachel Yucatel? Zero percent. And she's fucking hot as hell. So Kyle's not saying that. It's happening. It's on. Morgan and Kyle will be on next season of Real Housewives at Beverly Hills. They will be 